San Francisco reverses approval of killer robot policy. Yeah, I remember that thing. Yeah, that didn't last. Mm. The city's board of supervisors. It's also M. Moon, which is my favorite uh, uh, oh, yeah. profile picture for um, writers on Engadget. Yeah. The city's board of supervisors voted to ban the use of lethal force by police robots for now. Well, once you had all the news stories out and everybody was picturing Terminator situations, yeah. Uh, you had to know the heat would be on. In late November, San Francisco's Board of Supervisors had approved a proposal that would allow the city's police force to use remote-controlled robots as a deadly force option when faced with violent or armed suspects. The super supervisors voted 8-3 to three in favor of making it a new policy despite opposition by civil rights groups, but now they seem to have a change of heart, have had a change of heart during the second of two required votes before a policy can be sent to the mayor's office for final approval. The board voted 8-3 to three to explicitly ban the use of of lethal force by robots, police robots. Well, lethal force, could it, can it shoot rubber bullets? I assume it could. The, the lethal is, is different, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if it goes in there with some other means of uh, injuring or causing, what if it's pepper spray? It just goes in there. No, no, it has to be Gatling gun. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> exactly. I, listen, I don't know. Um... I would have to assume there'd be... Can't it just be like in the cartoons or something where it just shoots like a net with weights on it? And, yeah. And that's it? Yeah. But apparently they they can't. They want something that's uh, like just completely disabled. Mm. Well, listen, I think this is going to be um, contentious now. Obviously, it was approved, not approved, never made it to the mayor's office. I think there's going to be a lot of resistance to situations like this and to technology like this. Uh, from the jump, when we started looking at those spot robots and and how sensitive uh, Boston Dynamics and other companies around the way that their uh, that their devices are displayed and portrayed, and of course, humans are going to do what humans do and do the opposite. Of what yeah, is asked. A, this guy put a cannon on the... Of course, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he put a cannon, put a paintball gun, yeah, humans. And, and people have even tried to put a uh, rifle on there. However, the video I watched with the rifle, it was not vi not super effective. So is I don't know... Recoil? Yeah, I don't know what the optimal weaponry even is for this style of robot. But it's probably something different than what a human... Like a rifle that a human would hold. Mm-hmm. 